Hello there, amazing and wonderful geeky people of YouTube. So, if you're one of those people like me that just think that GNOME is the worst desktop in the world and the developers are too far up their own ass that they can't see sunlight and you want a good old paradigm-driven desktop environment under OpOS, basically. You want to take advantage of the OpOS code, the OpOS development they're doing behind the scenes, but you just don't agree with the desktop of choice. Well, let's just try and install an, an, an alternative desktop on the Pop! OS. XFCE. It's a traditional paradigm-driven operating system that follows the paradigms that 90% of the people out there are using today and not trying to force them to be more keyboard-driven or tiling Windows Manager-driven. Let's just do this. So, I've not tried this yet. I just found the command to see if it actually worked. Sudo apt install xfce4. You can also do sudo apt install zubuntu dash desktop, I think it is. But we'll just try this one right here. The reason why this should work is that Pop! OS is 90% Ubuntu. I know you guys hate me saying that, but Pop! OS, Sorian, and Mint to some extent, they are to some degree mostly just Ubuntu. Pop! OS is more Ubuntu than Mint is, because Mint are using their own in-house build package manager, they have their own programs and not package manager, desktop environment and stuff like that. Let's get into it. So I'll just press yes, let's click enter and now it's going to download a lot of things. Basically I didn't see how, can we see how much it wants us to download? Uh, after the, uh, 31 megabytes, so it's not that bad. Oh, which uh, services do we want to use? We want to use GTM3. Let's just take that one. Because I may just uninstall this when it's done. And I'm not saying this to hate on on, on, on Pop! OS or Sorian or one of those other distributions out there. I just think it's important that you guys know what is the biggest contributor to the distribution you use. Ubuntu is heavily uh, based on the Debian, so Debian is the derivative force behind Ubuntu. Mint, Pop! OS, Sorian are utilizing a lot of Ubuntu, so therefore they are heavily dependent in, upon Ubuntu. But we have installed it right now, so let's just close this down. I think, oh, there's actually updates up here. I can just quit Firefox here. Let's go and log out. Yoink. Yoink. Yeah, it seems like uh, GTM is acting up. Uh, let's do machine. Let's restart the machine. There it is. I don't know what it is with GTM or with the uh, Pop! OS, but sometimes I get these graphical thing, Meduskis, that are a little bit irritating. So let's see, do tests. Oh, is it down here with chains? This is down here with chains. XFC, put in my amazing, oh, my amazing password. Voila! You are now using XFCE under Pop! OS. Let's go up here and... System, do they have... We have this the Somatic Package Manager. Where's the software store? Doop, 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 doop. Pop shop. Just to show you guys that we are actually actively using uh, Pop! OS. The theming is not there, you need to theme it and stuff like that, so let's just do update all while this is and while this is going. So if you go in, if you want other desktop environments under Pop! OS, because like I said, you, you're just not agreeing with GNOME or you just don't like GNOME for whatever reason, just go and do install, let's say KDE on, oh, on Ubuntu. And then you should just be able to follow these guides here. you know, put in the commands that they want you to uh, to put in. Or you can do install... What else do we have? Uh, we have XSC, we have uh, cin Cinnamon. You could do that. You want to install... Ice VM. Or i3. Let's do i3. 
you just use these commands. And why why am I not putting pop OS in here? Because for the reason that I said that the state pop OS is right now they are like 90-95% Ubuntu based, which means that 90-95% of the way that you are handling stuff in the back end is the same as Ubuntu. So you can use Ubuntu commands. Okay? That's it. That, that's why I search Ubuntu and not Pop OS. Because Pop OS is not their own distribution yet. I think they are making ways to do that, but yet they are not their own 100% independent distribution. I'll see you all later. Bye bye.